Number two up on the agenda, take action on adoption of ballot resolutions. Do we have to do the pledge? Nope. Um, A, initial resolution number one, authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $22,500,000. I would entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. Second. Second? Second. Who, is it? Who would like to second it? Oh, I can second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Yes. What, what is it for? That would be the language that follows. Um, be it resolved that by the Oshkosh School Board of the Whitnall School District, Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, that there would be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that? Oshkosh. Did I say... <laughs> <laughs> How can, it's not even, it doesn't even start with O. Oh, well. Be it resolved. Let me try this again. By the school board of the Whitnall School District, Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, that there be issued pursuant to Chapter 67 of the Wisconsin Statutes general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $22,500,000 for the purpose of paying the cost of constructing a new elementary school at the site of the existing Hills Corners Elementary School, demolishing the existing school, and acquiring related fixtures, furnishings, and equipment. Okay. Been moved uh, and seconded. Any other discussion? And this is, the, I remember uh, whoever Kit maybe was talking that the wording in there is very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll was, I was ask Dr. Holtz, is it what we want? That Absolutely. And matter of fact, um, Luann asked the same thing just about 45 minutes ago and he double checked oh, again. Well, it's like 10, 15 minutes yes. ago. So yes. that's, uh, okay. that's yeah. exactly it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So according to this wording that you read off, it covers anything, but it all has to be at Hills Corners Elementary. Elementary school, right. that's the only place where we and can. And it says fixtures, furnishings, equipment, any, it doesn't seem to indicate anything about like exterior. Well, no, it's here. Construction. It says paying the cost of constructing a new elementary school at the site of the existing Hills Corners yeah. Element, demolishing the school and acquiring any related fixtures, furnishings and equipment. Okay. Does that cover any kind of like landscaping? Mm -hmm. Would that be mm -hmm. covered Site in that wording? Mm -hmm. Site, Site work, work is okay. all in there. That's okay. what the cost yeah. of constructing a new school, okay. fixtures, furnishings, and equipment. Okay. Anything related to that new school. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, next up. We have uh, resolution two, initial re resolution number two, authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $6,900,000. And the specific wording on the ballot will be, be it resolved by the school board of the Whitnall School District, Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, that there shall be issued pursuant to chapter 67 of the Wisconsin statutes, general obligation bonds in the amount not to exceed six million nine hundred thousand for the public purpose of paying the cost of energy efficiency projects at Whitnall High School, the renovation and expansion of the high school swimming pool and locker rooms and acquiring related fixtures, furnishings and equipment. I would entertain a motion to approve this. So I, moved. I have, and then I'll do a second. Second. And now we can discuss. Okay. So the wording of it lists the pool second, but the pool was the primary driving factor in this uh, in this thing, should it be listed first? It's not well, I don't believe so. We had our bond council draft this up, the experts that do this. So no, it should actually not because it's a Whitnall High School first. It isn't just the pool, it's the Whitnall High School and that specifically then below that, so it's not so general, it says the pool and the energy efficiency projects. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm not saying that right. Say it again. The cost of energy efficiency projects at Whitnall High School. No, I think it fits. Okay. Well, I it's think okay it should list the pool list. first because the pool is the it was the reason for this particular question to begin with, and it's two thirds of the expense. And I don't want to go back to the football field thing, but I can. I can't. I would not. I mean, I would not feel comfortable amending this resolution without bond council looking at it, and we're really out of time on that. But then I I also don't feel comfortable with the way we've been. Since we're so tight on time with these big money things, I said at the very beginning that I don't think that it's, if we get rushed right up to the last minute to do this, I don't think that's a good idea. 
Okay. So, Any other? so my point is, if we don't even have time to discuss the wording on this, it's this or nothing. I think that's a bad way to go about business. Okay. I want to correct a couple things you've said. This wording has been out for a couple of weeks. I think we we got it at the Finance and Facility Committee meeting, correct? I have not seen this wording. Not the final wording? The final no, wording the just final came wording out after last week. Okay. To the finance committee. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. About so that definitely was in the board packet. Mm -hmm. It's on Thursday. On Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because that's what I'm looking at. And right this now. is our first opportunity to discuss the wording since then. Right? Right. So it could have come out. Well, we actually had all the wording. I don't okay. believe it was final, though, until Let me after just clarify then, Correct. because I don't feel correction to me is necessary because let me just clarify this is the first time we've come together uh, after this wording has come out okay correct i think that's true because we didn't have the high school energy projects right specifically mm -hmm. on here until this time you're right right that's right so once again okay. my point is still the same okay. i think that it's rushing to okay. come up with this thing all together and then we don't have time to even discuss the wording I we think have that's time a, to discuss it. It's just, what do you want to do about it? I'm not trying to cut off discussion. No, well, you are. We, we don't have time. What you're saying is we don't have time to discuss it because I said I think the wording is wrong, and you said that you don't feel comfortable in changing it because there's not opportunity to go back to the bond okay, council. Okay. You said right, our legal council who wrote and this. we're up against the time clock as to tonight. approve it tonight. Right. Right. So basically, you've validated all of my points. Well, under Robert's rule, if you want to make a motion, <laughs> I'm just sharing my. Well, opinion. there's a motion you on the sure table. Could. There's a motion on the table, and I'm just discussing it. Right, I get that. And so, um, I, I disagree with the wording. We couldn't flip flop the wording. I mean, we're not, even if we kept all the words the same and you just put it in a different order, you wouldn't feel that we would be able well, to do that. And it's not like we're doing one and then we're doing the next one, we're doing them both. All together. So, it doesn't really yeah. matter which way it's worded. Yeah. Or which comes first? They're both in there. They're both in there. They're both covered under that six million nine hundred thousand dollars. I don't like the way we've gone about this, but go ahead. I guess I think it's splitting hairs. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. However, so <clears throat> we're being vague on the energy. We're not. We didn't pinpoint the two. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're being vague on that, so it gives us some leeway. Right. To mm -hmm. do what we want to do. Right. If, if it comes if in under shall, budget. more money comes available through savings in the pool, possibly. Right. We could use it for and any of those. Additional things that were on that list of energy, energy projects. projects. Uh, Jonathan, did you hear what you're going to be voting on? I didn't. I apologize. We just read the resolution number can two. You read it, read it I think you should read it again. Um, yeah. Be it resolved by the Whitnall. Wait, I'm sorry. Initial resolution number two authorizing <coughs> general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed six million nine hundred thousand dollars on the ballot it will say be it resolved by the wisconsin the no i'm sorry this is the resolution be it resolved by the school board of the whitnall school district milwaukee county wisconsin that there shall be issued pursuant to chapter 67 of the wisconsin statutes general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed six million nine hundred thousand for the public purpose of paying the cost of energy efficiency projects at whitnall high school the renovation and expansion of the high school swimming pool and locker rooms and acquiring related fixtures, furnishings, and equipment. I want to point out that this exact wording is in your packet. I believe it's on page seven. Okay, it's in your packet on page eight. Eight. Okay. All right. Any other discussion on this particular resolution? This, this does cover the viewing area too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That can be okay. just not the garage doors. <laughs> I guess those would be the fixtures. I don't know. Those are the fix. Those are covered under fixtures. <laughs> okay. Any other and discussion? Then, let me just <laughs> lighten up over here. <clears throat> yeah, I came in so serious. Can I speak? Okay. Boy. Okay. Thank you. Um, would the uh... go ahead, John? Please go ahead. Up. Okay. No, I'm um, trying to. <laughs> would the air conditioning fall under energy? Efficiency projects? Yep. I'm there. just asking, does it need to be more general than energy efficiency? Well, that's why we leave it broader, and I don't know who talked to it, but if we really narrow down, then we have to do it for that, which I think is all our intention. But 
if we do it more broader, it allows us to maybe do three of those things or, or other things that may have come up if there's some savings along no, the I way. I get that, but is this, is this too specific? That's what I'm asking. Is energy efficiency too specific? Well, I think it's very broad. Well, I know or what you're can. saying because the, the air conditioning project for the gym is not necessarily considered an energy efficiency project. No, I understand what you're saying. That's my question. Yeah. That's a good question. Matt? Do you think, I mean, could it reasonably be said I know, that... I know that it's the standard practice from, from Quarles would be to keep it as open as possible so that you don't um, pigeonhole yourself into one project or another. And if, if, and if they specifically said it's okay to use that language, then I would, I would defer to them on that. I mean, you, your point is, is right. Adding air conditioning does not save yeah, and but it's not energy. It, what we're talking about is really not that component of it. We're talking about the overall um, encompassing projects. All right. Okay, so the follow up question to that then should be is Corals and Brady aware that one of the projects under the energy efficiency topics that we were looking at included air conditioning? Where are you? I'm sorry, what was that again? Well, was was Quarles right. and Brady aware that one of the projects that we were yes. we were tucking under energy efficiencies was mm -hmm. an air conditioning project? What page page 15. It's in uh, the, yes, it's forward in on question number two is a vote to approve the borrowing of 6-9. And the fourth line down, project in, including upgrades to yep. HVAC systems, heating, ventilating, air conditioning. Good. Well, that's right. But that's, is that what's going to be on the ballot, what you just wrote, right? Mm -hmm. But that's, um, this is that's no, the explanation that has to go out. Remember, the, there's all those time lines when you're supposed to release things. Um, this no, one this is... The question is, what wording is going to be on the ballot? Mm -hmm. What question is going to... What we're voting on right exact, now is what's going to be on the referendum. It's actually in here as well under exhibit... Can't it... Hold on, I guess in that? here we say capital maintenance and energy efficiency product, projects on that page 15. That's the whole sentence, cost of capital maintenance and energy efficiency products. They Wait a second. Let me read what's actually on the ballot. The resolution is not exactly the same. I know, but what I'm saying is should we add capital maintenance to it? Capital maintenance and energy efficiency projects. Oh, um, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting to. Because then that broadens it even more, and it gives us leeway. I think you want to right, let, 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 let's let Lowell and then let me read what's actually in our packet, which does get specific about that. He's looking at it. It I'm says capital. It. Okay, go ahead. Um, when they write these resolutions, uh, our own attorneys aren't comfortable doing it. They, they specifically, I mean, it's a specialization for the bond council yeah. people. I would be way out of my league to suggest changing anything that the bond council wrote for the resolution, especially that they were well aware of, I mean, because they gave us the ballot questions then when you get down to page 19, 19. and where it actually listed on there. So I have no, I mean, what the specific laws are in the detail part of it, yeah. I couldn't answer, but I do know they're well aware of it because they included in the actual question when people vote. So it'll be black and white for the people when they're voting. So page and that's what's most important. So page 19 is verbatim what will be mm -hmm. on the right. ballot, correct? Right. Oh, correct. Then what? There we go. Yeah, so I don't understand. Well, that's why I was surprised when I heard you reading these things off. When I yeah, so what, so what you... We were read. not actually supposed to read that. Yeah, it's, actually... We were only supposed to approve this, this bond authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $6.9 That's all we have to approve tonight. We didn't have to read all of this below it, the Be It Resolved stuff. I know. I called ahead because I was confused on that myself. And then... Doug, you and Lowell checked with Lisa Voison? Correct. About the process, and they said, all we really have to approve are these top ones. And in exactly. your packet, though, it spells out exactly what will be okay. on the ballot. Okay, then that makes more sense. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's still confusing, even though I thought I was clear, then I, I got confused. No, I, I still think, the pro I agree with them, I still think the process is confusing, mm -hmm. but if these... If us voting for this results in these specific questions on in the, the ballot, then... We'll be okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's go with that assumption then, because that is what our legal, our council said. It's true. So then we have a motion on the table to um, initial resolution number two, authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $6,900,000. There's been a motion, there's been a second, we've had some discussion. Any more discussion? 
Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Next up, we have the final resolution, which would be, okay, now I have to go back, I'm sorry. Page 19. Um, that would be, I would entertain a motion to uh, a resolution providing for a referendum election on the question of the approval of initial resolutions authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $29,400,000. And there is a lot of language now that follows with <coughs> that resolution, but we are instructed we do not need to read all of that, but that really does spell out the specifics of how this now gets to the ballot and the timelines and the clerks and all of that. So would someone like to move, make a motion to that effect to adopt this resolution? So moved. And the second? I'll second. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion on resolution number three? Why do we do this? It's just the general question that puts it on the ballot with the specific state, state, state law requires it. D Doug, do you have anything to add as to why we have to do three? No, I think that uh, pretty succinctly states it. It's everything in here is required either by some state or federal agency from the DPI all the way up to the IRS. So. Formalities. And this spells actually election date and the day, and I think maybe that's why. And the specific questions, because I think the specific questions fall under this document that we're talking about, don't Correct. they? Mm -hmm. So the wording yeah. of the questions and everything that we just, right. just discussed. Right. Exhibit. Um, all right. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. Thank you all.